Well, welcome back to part three. Um, today, I'm removing the transom. Um, I'm going to show a few reasons why I've decided to do the transom. I have got my other little camera here, so I can show you close up. Um, I actually think it's full of water. The transom itself, as you'll see, it seems rock solid. Inside these holes where water drains, there's wood there. That wood is absolutely solid. Same down here, the wood, all in here, is absolutely solid. Um, obviously, because I'm rebuilding the whole boat, I did decide to have a little look around. Inside here, in these corners, right here and here, you can see the screwdriver look. Um, it's soft in there. You can dig about, but when you go down, it is absolutely solid downwards. Same here. You can hear it. It is solid, but I think I may be hitting this lip um, when I have a proper dig. It is definitely soft at the top. <clears throat> um, there's a gap along here, as you can see. They've used some sort of filler in there. Me personally, that should be fiberglassed over. You shouldn't have a gap inside here. I'm going to apologise now for the weather and the wind. It's seriously bad and it's blowing straight into the shed. Um, this part here, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the camera. Oh yeah, you should be able to see that. It's flexing quite a lot. I noticed it when I pulled on it to get myself back up. Also, that one's got a little bit of flex. The next issue, I don't know if you can see these spots, look. There's one here, one there, one there, there's one there, and there's a few over this side as well. It's actually moisture, that is, coming through the transom. Um, I don't know if, I, if it's, it's probably dried out a little bit now since last week, but you can still see the damp patches. No, that's still wet look. You can see my finger lines coming off it. There's mo actually moisture inside this transom. That's what started my suspicions of sanding it all, and these spots started to appear, and there was a hell of a lot more. There was um, there's some there, look, you can see the damp marks. They're absolutely everywhere. There was quite a bit of damp coming through. I thought it was through the roof or just in the air. It's not. So I was wiping it off, drying it, and it was coming back again. So obviously then I started to investigate everything. So the plan is, I'm gonna get these strips off, which could be part of the problem because these won't be sealed and water can get straight in. That's the next problem in these corners, the water's got in, because it's not been fiberglass there. And also inside here, the wood there, look, that wood's solid, all of it's solid, but I've got a feeling when we cut this open, it's gonna be a lot damper than I thought it was originally. Um, cutting the, the splash well out, I'm thinking of coming along these natural lines along here and I want to try and cut along the top of it, all the way along and down there. So when I finish this and put the, the well back in, it covers this strip, it'll slot over it. Hopefully you can see the line, I'm going to cut down there hopefully, that's the plan. I will have a better look at it and then come along here. I will have a better look at it as I'm doing it, I might change my mind. I'll show you a little bit closer with these holes. You can see right inside there. And then we've got another one, that side. We've got another one on this side. This is quite a deep one. Now, see, I'm digging. Here we go, look. That's actually a little bit of wood or something there. See that? I did dig around quite a lot. The top of it is definitely, look at that there, that's rotten, that's rotten wood. So, um, and you can see this gap, look, you can pop this out, they've put some sort of like um, filler or some sort of bonding, but there shouldn't be a gap in here. That gap should not be there, this should be glassed over and then tidied up. So, yeah, gonna get everything pulled off. You might be able to see a few of these damp spots this side, sorry about the light. There, look at that. You can see me smudging that. It's definitely dampness coming through. Definitely. You can feel it. Look there, another one. Yeah, it's a shame, but we've gone this far with the build, so we may as well do the rest. As you can see there, look. So yeah, like I said, the plan maybe is cut along that line. I should be able to glass from the inside here and glass from the outside, so I can fiberglass both sides of that. Um, I can fiberglass over this lip to reinforce that. So, 
Yeah, what I'm going to do first, drill these pop rivets out, take these metal strips off on both sides. And basically, yeah, we'll start cutting it apart. On the inside, on the inside, you can see it's once that wells out, I've got access to the whole transom from the inside by the looks of it. Um, there is, I don't know what you call them, I think they're elephant trunks or I don't know what they are. There's drainage pipes and you can see that black hole there. And there's also a black hole right there. That's going to all be gone. Obviously with those holes, when water drains through those, it's probably not sealed properly and there's water getting into the transom from there as well. The drainage bung down in the centre right here is not even in the centre and it's about two inches high. So any water that's in the bottom of the boat there is not going to drain. So we're going to sort that as well. I'll probably try and go a little bit lower. So yeah, basically I'm going to crack on with it now. Right, before I start chopping anything out at the rear end, I was speaking to someone from YouTube last night. He literally builds boats, like totally builds them. He welded up this aluminium one. I've actually forgot the name of the channel. What I'll do, I'll put it in the description. I'll put a link to his channel there because he was giving good advice, to be fair. I was just going to cut this well out, cut the skin out for the transom and be done with it. He said to me, as a precaution, just in case, measure from gunnel to gunnel, just to make sure when nothing moves. And then also what he said, put some ratchet straps around it. Just in case, once I cut the back end off and the, and the, the well, the boat might want to do that a little bit. It might only be 15, 20 mil, but it's still not in the right place. So I'm going to take some measurements quickly. I'm going to put some ratchet straps around it just in case. Once it's all cut out, what I'm going to do is release the ratchet straps and see if anything's moved. If it has, I can strap it back up and get it back to the measurement where it should be. Personally me, I don't think it's going to move. This is all solid. But someone's given me good advice, so I'm going to use it. Whether I think I need to or not. Personally, I don't think I need to, but I'm doing it anyway. Just in case. I'm not a professional at this, so any advice I can get, I'm grateful for. So let's take some measurements. I'll write them down. Probably chuck a few ratchet straps over it. And let's start chopping it up. What I'm going to do, a couple of pencil marks, just so I know where I actually took the measurement. So I'm just going to draw quite a thick line on here, just so I can put the tape on it. And then, I don't know, I'll just draw a line in the centre, like a cross, just so I've got a point of measurement. I'll do the same over there. I'm going to call it 149.3. That's what we'll call it. What I've decided to do, I'm not going to put the strap on. Um, I'm going to cut it all out. I've got a measurement from a reference point here. Once I get the well out, I'll give it another quick measure. If nothing's moved, I'll cut the skin of the transom out and we'll see if anything's moved then. Just out of interest, really, just to see if it is moving. The top half of this boat is on, obviously on that lip. It's all pop riveted in. It's a top skin, which goes in but it's fiberglassed all the way around, so I can't take that off anyway. I would have liked to, rather than cutting this well out. But I'm not going to start cutting all the original moulding out, basically. I'd rather just do that. So let's get on with it. I've now removed these metal strips that was on both sides. Now the metal strip's gone. Look at that. I'm sure you can see that movement. But, I think I found an issue. <laughs> it's not attached, look. It's not attached all the way around. As you can see, right up there. So I think my plan will be is to cut along there. I'm only going to have one cut along that side and along that side. I don't think it'll just lift off, but None of it's attached. I don't want to damage anything on it, but look. It's not actually attached that look. It's just... That can't be a uh, factory filler. You can see that. It's not... I think this transom could have been done before. 
looking at this and they obviously cut it out you're not going to get it like that from the factory i can't see that myself and yeah really they should have fiberglass down here what i'll probably do is fiberglass over this and i'll hide the join there right around that'll be my plan this side's exactly the same you can see it right up that's just filler if i hit it hard enough it'll knock through right there it's just filled filler all the way so yeah we're going to cut along there now hopefully it'll pretty much just pop off we'll have to see we'll start cutting to excuse the wind noise the weather's really picked up now um, as you can see the wells out which you would have seen on the time lapse this transom is not actually rotten you know some of the wood is a little bit damp but that look it's it's wet but it's not rotten it's solid I can't even snap that so it technically wasn't rotten which was my suspicion it did look fine but I knew there was water there somewhere and basically what I'm doing I'll have to hold the mic. I'm cutting down in lines like this, because this is pretty tough. I'm struggling to get it out. Um, as you can see there, that's the original glass, and there's a little layer of uh, plywood on it. I'm gonna be sanding that off. But what I'm doing here now is just cutting down in lines, probably about three, four inches wide, the strip, and then I'm using the crowbar just to chisel down it and take it off in little tiny thin strips like that. It's the only way it's coming off. Um, you can see here, it's, it's tough. It is proper tough. So, yeah, it was on its way. Every single wooden boat transom is on its way to rotting. They are, they are all gonna rot out eventually. It's wood and it's gonna get wet, but this one probably had another two, three, four years left in it. Maybe, I don't know. But anyway, we're doing it now. There's not much point me videoing too much of this. It's seriously slow work and you'd be bored watching it. But yeah, I'm literally cutting down. I might do a bit of a time lapse on this section now, just while I'm getting into it, getting it through. There is a dip here. This section from this line here to about here, that section's deeper than the rest. There's a little out, there's a little bit that sticks out at the back. So I'm cutting the surface layer of glass off that to get the wood out of there. But as we get on with it, and as we start rebuilding it, I'll show you what I'm doing and show you the plan. There's no point explaining it too much now. It ain't gonna make any sense. So yeah, I'm gonna carry on stripping the rest of this wood out and get it ready to put the new stuff in. Yeah. 